Members of the public will be able to voice their concerns about the legalization of recreational marijuana at today's hearing, where Assembly and Senate committees will debate and are expected to vote on the bill. If passed today, here's what you can expect. The bill has a long way to go, through the Senate and Assembly before the governor's desk. If the governor signs it, the creator of the bill says it could be available to consumers by January. We already have licensed facilities selling medical marijuana, and part of the bill is to allow them to sell legal marijuana to all those over 21 years of age immediately upon a signature if they can certify that they have enough product to do it. So facilities that are already open for medical purposes could open their doors to the public by the end of January. Companies that have applied to grow and sell go through a rigorous review that takes months before they are approved. Many are already in the process for medical marijuana. If legalized, State Senator Scatari says dispensary licenses would be rolled out by the dozen. A council would be formed to determine the right number of stores to stay competitive and not flood the market. So how much would it cost? Scatari says the pot price will be set by the market. He wants it to be competitive enough to take out the black market. Governor Murphy campaigned on legalizing recreational marijuana, but the legislation stalled, with party leaders battling over how much the drug should be taxed. Today, he addressed the plan. We want to take the business out of the hands of the bad guys. We want to protect our kids. We want to regulate it in the right way. And if we could do all that and make a few bucks, uh, that's conceptually something I'm, I'm for. The current bill calls for a 12% state tax and a 2% local tax, the lowest tax in the country. While supporters say legalization could mean big business for the Garden State, some are concerned the drug would get into the hands of minors more easily. They're not looking at the safety of our children, where a lot of these substances and these products are in the forms of liquid, um, gummies and other edibles that are at risk of our children. Supporters of the bill disagree. People are ingesting, smoking, eating marijuana on a regular basis all throughout New Jersey. It's been happening for a hundred years. This bill is not something that we're suggesting to people. You should just go out and start ingesting and smoking marijuana, but it's a recognition that people are already doing it. Mayor Reed from Point Pleasant Beach is expected to testify. His town and other Jersey Shore towns have banned together, creating ordinances to ban the sale of marijuana. At the State House, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.